Hey everybody, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra. Today on today's Sunday Gear Review, I have a really cool resource for parents here that I got from my friend Shelly Hill from The Complete Combatant. Um, it's called Smart Choices and it's a subset of the image-based decision drills. And I think for parents, it's a really fantastic resource. Big Tex Outdoors has holsters, accessories, optics, and other parts that you need as a self-defender. I'm one of his customers and I recommend him highly. Check out the page on our website with our favorite deals. So let me tell you what you get, right? Uh, right up front, um, this is a cool set and I will say, mia culpa, I have uh, no financial investment in this, um, but Shelly and her husband Brian are owners of The Complete Combatant, very good friends of mine. Um, and also do some work here on active self-protection. You see Brian on Mondays, on the Dry Fire Mondays. So um, is this a completely unbiased review? No, they're friends. This is really cool though, and I think that it is a very valuable tool for all parents. This is set for children uh, four to 13 years old. You could use it with a little older kids too. Now, if you know the image-based decision drills, what you see on that uh, image-based decision drills uh, stuff that they have is they set out these cards and people flip them over and they have to make a decision on what they're going to do. So uh, some of those decisions will be to walk away. Some will be to use OC spray. Some might be to use verbal commands. Some might be to draw and fire your gun. That's a different day. We'll do a review on the image-based decision drills. This one is a version for children, but it's a little bit different version. Um, so, so here's what you get in the box. You get 84, or the bag rather, 84 of these cards. You get an instruction manual. You get directed to the website for some more, for videos and those kinds of things. Um, you get a magnet of Arlo the Ant and a sticker of Arlo the Ant so that that way you can put that places and remind your kids. Now, here's an interesting bit. What it does is each of these 84 cards is not designed to make the kids, um, you know, make snap decisions. What they're designed to do is for mom and dad or their educators or, you know, uh, whoever, right? So whoever's a trusted person in their life to talk to the children about um, self-defense related stuff that's age appropriate. So what you have here is on the back of each card, what you have is you have um, some discussion points for parents. So I'll tell you, for instance, this one. If we were to say, hey, let's look at this one today. And, and when we see this, what do you see? So you can see on this card here, what it has is it has drugs um, <clears throat> and uh, a, like a big doobie on it, right? Like a big marijuana roach. And I know we're gonna get into to stuff on that, right? But here's the cool part, is it lets the parents set the rules here. It lets mom and dad or the educators set how they wanna to talk to their child about this. So you hand this to, and this could be age appropriate, right? Who, how, what do I do when I hand this to a four-year-old? What do I do when I hand this to a 10-year-old? Um, and, and listen, if I said, hey, if you found one of mommy's medication out in there, what would you do with that? What's the answer there? And they go, well, I would find daddy and give it to daddy. Good, good choice. You know, that's exactly it. Would we, would we eat one of mommy's medication? Now, maybe again, your wife is on antidepressants or something like that. You want to watch out for that stuff. Um, Maybe dad's on medical marijuana or something. And you say, hey, well, if you find one of daddy's medicine, what do you do with that? Or maybe your kids are a little older, 12, 13 years old. And you say, hey, uh, you know, let's have a discussion about that and uh, about abusing prescription medications and, and those kinds of things. So tell me how you're handling that right now. So the cool part of this card is, is that as we do that, when we have real little ones, it lets us have these discussions. Um, and, and maybe you can put three or four of them out and then let the kids, whichever one they pick up, you say, which one of those you want to talk about right now? Um, and they give some really good information here in the book <clears throat> because again, there's all kinds of different stuff. So if I just draw one at random, right? And I say, okay, which one are we gonna talk about right now? What we see is we see a dog, right? So you can use your imagination and experience. Is this a friendly dog? Is this an unfriendly dog? Um, what, what do we do when we see a dog? So we might say, well, he looks like a friendly dog, but I'm not sure. So maybe I have little ones and I say, how would you approach a dog that you didn't know? Uh, and we'd say things like, we don't get up in the dog's face. We don't assume that the dog is friendly. We want to ask for permission from the owner, right? And those kinds of things. So maybe a little older one, hey, if you saw a dog running around in the neighborhood, how are you going to handle that? What do you think you're going to do? So I really think it does these really cool things. Let's grab another one. And again, it just gives me the opportunity as a parent. Oh, wow, we have a broken window, right? So, so you, you go into your room and you have a broken window. How are you going to deal with that? Well, that's clearly a defensive posture. In my family, in my home, I could even talk with my teenagers about that. Say, hey guys, you know what, what would happen? So we could use these with our teens 
as maybe a jumping off point for discussion, maybe at dinner, maybe uh, when we're sitting around. There's one here, oh, this one is an interesting one. What's our family safe word? Uh, and, and I'm not gonna tell you what my family's safe word is, but you should have one, and I know there's gonna be jokes about the safe word on this, but for your family, you should as well. If somebody's gonna pick up your kids, what safe word is our family's safe word? And if somebody says, hey, I'm, your mom and dad sent me to get you, and you say, great, what's our safe word? And they go, I don't know. Well, then you know not to go with them, right? So here's another one. Wait a minute, the, the, the alarm goes off. The, the uh, fire alarm goes off. What are we going to do here? One of the smoke detectors went off. What are you gonna do here? Little Jimmy, who's seven years old, in my house that would be, uh, we would ask what dad is burning on the stove. But we investigate, aha, so I love these, man. I think this is a really cool little pack. Now, uh, as far as cost, these, uh, this whole kit right here is $99.99 unless you're a homeschool family. If you're a homeschooling family, uh, Shelly's discounted them to $79.99, which is pretty cool. I'll put a link in the description to their website, and I think it's definitely worth that, right? Um, you can get just the cards without any of the other stuff, I think for $69.99, and I think they're really valuable. I mean, again, we got just stuff like uh, a fire extinguisher. We got, you know, prescription bottles. We've got a kid walking down a hallway and they see somebody there. Do you know that person? Do you not know that person? What do we do? You've got cleaners and those kinds of things. So I just really think um, you got somebody screaming, no help. What do you do, right? And I think it just really leads in a good self-defense manner to really good discussions, whether it's parents, educators, clergy, um, those kinds of things with children about their self-defense and you can do that at an age-appropriate level. And I really love what Brian and Shelly have done here, Shelly being the big driver, that it, it leaves the discussion in the hands of the parents. Because for instance, here's this one with a cell phone. Well, number one, I mean, I'm gonna discuss that with a 13-year-old who might have that mobile device a lot differently than I discuss it with a five-year-old who might be playing online, you know, on a game on mom's phone or something like that. But maybe my 13 year old, and we're gonna talk about cyberbullying, um, or maybe we're gonna talk about how we interact with our friends and the use of social media, or those kinds of things, and how we can stay safe when we're doing that and what some of the dangers are. Uh, I just think it really leads to good discussions. And these are the kinds of things that proactively parents and again, educators and childcare workers and those kinds of things, people can use to help kids to make those those good decisions that help them stay safe and do so in a way that I think doesn't um, intimidate children, it doesn't um, scare children, but it sets them up for success. So really cool pack, I recommend it. Um, I have one, it's, you know, my kids are a little older now. Uh, my youngest is 15 and then I have an 18 year old and a 21 year old and a 23 year old. Um, so we have these kinds of discussions, but this is kind of fun because it let me sit down with my 15 year old and go through some of these and say, Tell me what you see here and what value for somebody your age here and actually led to a couple of good discussions. And uh, then also let us, uh, you know, kind of use these on some younger folks. So it's one that I would highly recommend.